Hi, my name is Rohit K and today I'm going to show the app called Mental Health App which will detect the suicidal statements or uh, self-harming statements of our mental health patients uh, which can be used in a chatbots of Mental Health Care app. So, here's a look. Uh, so, I'm going to pass some statement like my girlfriend left me so I want to kill myself. So, it is actually a self-harming statement. So, let me see what happens. It's going to take some time. Okay, the text contains reference to self-harm. Yeah, and we can change the statement to like her. So, this is actually not a suicidal statement, actually, it is a threat statement. So, it's a non suicidal. So, I'm gonna explain the backend working of this app also. So, I built this app on a Kaggle ID <coughs> and I got a, a <coughs> data set in a Kaggle suicidal detection which uh, contains about 2,30,000 uh, labeled statements, labeled text, which are labeled as a non suicidal and suicidal. And firstly, I used a word embedding technique called uh, word to which is a deep learning technique. Uh, the vector dimension size of 100 and the uh, width of the word 5. And for tokenizing, I use TensorFlow tokenizer. It will, uh, and the max length of this uh, each sentence is uh, 7796. And the rest of the sentences are padded to zero. So, padding of the sequence also I used. And for creating word em uh, embedding metrics, uh, I, the, I use the tokenizer and the uh, embedding word to both the techniques and here we can see the total number of words are 31,000 so each word is a uh, of uh, vector size of 100 so the metric size will be 31,000 cross 100 and this is a sample of one word which is the vector size of 100 and actually I split the data into training and testing and with a 20% for test data and coming to the model uh, the architecture I choose a LSTM model firstly I tried with a uh, RNN model which uh, did not give that much accuracy so I used the LSTM uh, firstly the contents of 64 nodes and I used a dropout to reduce uh, overfitting and the uh, activation function as a uh, sigmoid and the uh, loss function is a binary class entropy and just trained with the one epoch it approximately did take about 15 minutes and uh, with accuracy of 88 percent accuracy yeah. and uh, this function is to uh, prepare an input statement uh, if you put any input statement it will uh, convert it to a sequence of metrics and pass it to a model. So here I gave one statement. Today I felt good in morning. Everything was good but in the evening it rained and as a result I got stuck in traffic. My life sucks. It is actually a not a suicidal statement as a result it predicted as a non suicidal. So the model is working good. And lastly I saved the model and the tokenizer uh, with the HY extension and PICAL extension to deploy the model in. I used a spider ID to deploy the model and define a function preprocess and predict so as soon as we press the button predict it will call the function predict and in the predict it will call the function preprocess text so this will convert our text to a uh, sequential uh, vectors which can uh, which can be inputted to a model and uh, predict the output yeah this is a uh, thing of our model thank you